What's your thoughts on kettles? Waste of fucking money. You're going to get a watch, then man's going to want to fucking chop your wrist off for a fucking watch. Or you're going to get set up by some chick. I'm sure I've done a couple of reaction videos to it with some, yeah, the girl was fucking set up the guy and got him stabbed and he died over a fucking, over, over a fucking watch. Imagine that, the man had kids as well, you know. All he wanted, yeah, was a little lash, yeah, a little smash, yeah, get a little, yeah, top from a gal, yeah, and end up losing his life over a watch. Fucking bullshit, blood. Ridiculous. Was he even saying in one of my videos and that, like, I think the title of the video is This is the State of the UK. You can't have nothing. You can't have nothing. I was talking about some guys. Um, you know, like, I used to watch them videos and that where they go to Knightsbridge, them Arab man. Like, they've even got the Arab number plates, like Lord Alim, and just that's a name that pops into my head. A couple Arab men with their Lamborghinis and Ferraris and whatever in it, Bugattis and that. Them man, they are, apparently they don't even go to Knightsbridge no more. Because people are trying to rob them for their watches and that. Because obviously, if you're driving a Lamborghini or you've got a Bugatti or Ferrari, I mean, you probably got a nice watch on your wrist as well. Man is just going to rob you. And robberies are not always smooth. Sometimes they go wrong. Yeah? Man will stab you. Can end up dying. There's youths right now in jail for murder, or at least manslaughter, because they tried to rob someone. The person fought back, they stabbed them, they killed someone. Over a phone that they're just going to go and shop for 300 pound blood. So a man went on a move. Yeah, and let's say yeah, he didn't stab the person. Let's say no one died. Let's say he did get, he just robbed the boy, yeah? And he got the phone and then he shot it for 300 pounds, but then he got nicked and that. So you're going to get nicked for a robbery. Let's say there was no knife involved, just a straight robbery and that probably get three years over 300 pounds. Imagine that. Three years for a 300 pound phone. But you know that like when you go and shut it on, obviously you don't get the full market value, obviously. If only a man just went to college for two years and studied, three years, four years and studied to be electrician and electrical tester, he could have been on three hundred pound a day. But instead, he could potentially get three years in jail, or that you there probably got fifteen years in jail for manslaughter. If only he just thought to himself, you know, let me just do three, three or four years in college. Let me tell you something right now, yeah. In life, at some point, you're gonna have to do three, four years time, yeah. That could be time in the classroom, or that could be time in prison. I rather the classroom, blood. At least I get to go home at night time, you know, or after hours. Deep it. If you want to be successful in in this world, yeah, you're gonna have to do three, four years at least. Yeah, you're gonna have to sit down somewhere for three, four years if you want to be successful. So that can be by way of prison or by way of the classroom. Most successful people, doesn't matter if they got a business degree, doesn't matter if they're a banker, doesn't matter if they're an electrician, doesn't matter if they're a doctor, mortgage broker, what it doesn't matter. A lot of these professional teachers, all of them, solicitors, lawyers, they all had to do some time sitting down. Yeah, there's no way around it, really and truly. So at some point in your life, you're going to have to sit down for three, four years. Yeah, you're better off sitting down in a classroom than sitting down in a prison cell. 